Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, my name is Jitra and today's video what I have for you guys is a brand new way you guys can make modded cars in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online so make sure to watch this video until the end if you guys want to know how to do this also guys before we do begin with today's video here's a modded account giveaway for you guys for getting my channel to 30,000 subscribers so all you need to do to enter is follow the steps given on the screen simple as that, I know, simple, simple, easy that's it, I'll do a live stream, so turn on the notification for that. Now guys, to begin with this video, here are the requirements. You'll need a modded car or a Benny's car or an F1 car to begin with. Second thing that you'll need is a friend. Okay, and after that, what you'll need is a is the LS car meet unlocked. After that, you will need to go to your interaction menu and set everything, set all the missions to show. Simple as that. And you'll need Eclipse Towers. Nice, right, so that's pretty much it for the requirements, so yeah, and here's a quick word from our sponsor and then we'll begin with the rest of the steps. Now guys, if you head over to the PlayStation website and look for shortcuts, you'll find there's a massive problem, they are massively overpriced. But at easylooting.com, what you will find is they offer you the same money for just 20 times cheaper. Next thing, they also offer you modern cars, modern packages, modern outfits, and modern cars with anti ban and full money back guarantee. Check out the reviews if you don't trust me. Now, if you guys want to check them out, the link is in the description down below. Use code GTROY for a 10% discount. Now, guys, to begin with, you need to be in the Elish car meet. Now, I want you to the Elish car meet with your Benny Jeff on modern car. Just change one thing on the car that's simple as that. Now, once you change something on the car, go ahead. Next up is tell your friend to invite you to a sprint job. He also needs to be in his car inside the LS car meet. Now, once he invites you to a sprint, just accept the job and wait for it to pop up. Now, guys, as you can see, there's a timer down there. Now, it's going to be a 30 second timer, so you don't have to worry about that. So wait for the timer to hit three seconds and then tell him to spam uh, X on his controller so that's pretty much it x or a on xbox so basically that so what's going to happen is once that time hits three seconds he starts spamming a or x he's going to go into uh into the track of the lsk meet and you'll be stuck on an infinite black loading screen after that join uh, anwak on ps5 or ps4 or what you can do if he doesn't work, just join someone else in a different targeting mode and make sure that um, the guy just uh, join them and accept the first alert, decline the second. Simple as that, guys. In a different targeting mode, if Animac doesn't work. Now, if Animac does work, accept all the alerts, like I did here. So, yeah, I joined the Animac, so that's pretty much it. Simple as that. Now, next thing that you guys want to do is. Uh, load back in obviously now you'll see that your screen is glitched all you need to do is just pull up your interaction menu and take the easy way out simple as that next step guys see this is super easy guys you don't need just a little bit of time involved with your friend you can sort it out i think you might not hit in the first or second try but yeah after that once you spawn back in the camera is going to be glitched again let's join uh, start up this job as i said in the beginning that you need to put all the jobs on show just join that particular job host it if um there's no jobs available, it shows, shows you right there. Just host the job. Now once you host the job, just wait for it to give you the quit option. And once it does, just go ahead and click yes. Now, once you quit the job, the next thing that you guys want to do is wait for yourself to load in. Now you will notice if you have done it correctly that uh, there will be no minimap on the left bottom corner, which obviously, if you did it correctly, will not be there. Now, next to things next, you guys want to head over to a garage which has a walk-in animation. Walk-in animation is that you will see the car basically drive into the drive uh, into the gar garage of your whatever garage you're going into. So, yeah, um, for me, I think Eclipse Towers works pretty well. So there is there is a walk-in animation for the Eclipse Towers. Now, guys, if you go into a garage that doesn't have that, all you need to do is pull up your MOC and drive your car into that. It's going to save. Now, so what happens if you drive into a garage with no walk-in animation is that your car will not be saved. So once you drive inside, once your car is uh, modded, you will see that uh, the if the car just doesn't work out, it's going to go back to the normal settings. So, enough about that. I'm just driving over to the um, to the Eclipse Towers. Obviously, 
you guys sh I'd recommend you guys use Eclipse Tiles because it's the easiest and easiest way to actually know where it is because it's really really distinct a huge building on Hollywood Boulevard I think if or West or Vinewood Boulevard whatever I just don't know LA really well so yeah um, we are at the Eclipse Towers Superstar and the next thing that you want to do is park your car somewhere around here uh, or sorry don't park you can also park it outside if you don't have space inside your garage but I recommend you take this car inside the garage and make sure the garage has one empty space in Eclipse Towers now drive your car in after that once you drive your car in just exit the car the motor car or whatever car you had now Next thing that you want to do is go inside of the uh, unmodded car and drive it outside. Now once you guys drive it outside, you will see it's still normal. Wow, surprised. Not. Now next thing that you want to do after that is register yourself as a CEO. Now from CEO, just go ahead and call in the buzzard. Now guys, if you don't have the money to call in the buzzard, what you want to do next uh, here, instead of calling the buzzard, is call up Merryweather and get the... Uh, chopper from them it, sh it should cost like one thousand dollars so yeah so once you get the chopper or whatever just st start the buzzard and wait for the blades to just keep moving and then go ahead and kill your uh kill commit this do this okay just run into the blades super sad now once you do that uh you'll spawn back in and you will see that your car has been modded now what I'm talking about, as I was talking about the driving animation, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about, the driving animation. A lot of garages don't have this. Eclipse Towers does, so I recommend using Eclipse Towers. Um, uh, the office garage does too, I think. So uh, if you have it in the office garage, it's going to be good too, okay? Next thing, you can keep on doing it over and over again. Now guys, if you want to do it with a different car in a different garage, make sure you go ahead and take the original modded car out of this garage and drive it into that garage and then go ahead and do this whole step over again and you will have this so there's no uh doing it all over again from the beginning and make sure that your friend is still in the elish car I mean, if he leaves the car I mean, or leaves the session or whatever the, uh, the 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 thing this whole setup will get messed up and you'll not be able to mod any more cars so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you did enjoy as you can see, I just made another modded car. Hope you guys did like this one too. So boom, we just drive it back into the Eclipse Styles. We have second modded car in just a few seconds. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you did go and enjoy this video, make sure to like, also share, subscribe, and do all that crazy stuff that you guys keep on doing. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate every single one of you guys watching this video. I really do. Make sure to go ahead and comment something positive. And that's pretty much it from me. My name is Yitra. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love.